brother asked a question since the majority of the group in the world are the hanfi so why is it wrong they are the largest group in the world of hanfi let's understand something why there are more hanfi in dunia let me give you a technical uh example let me give you a technical answer let let's go back to the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in to his limitation he has taught everything as he says in surah maida was number 3 al yawma akmaltu lakum dinakum wa atmantu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum islam dinan so allah says i have completed all your din there is nothing left no adding no minusing all you have to do is what your messenger has told you you stick to that after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the time of sahabas and tabeens and tabeens and the next generations there's a many many complicated question comes up and they would not understand from the quran and the hadith so during that time alhamdulillah subhanallah there was so many good ulama came they were very good in fiqh so they become very popular that time let's say we have a scholar a scholar b scholar c scholar d among the so many scholars four or five all of us become very popular in the society that these people are very good in in the society so their name become popular it does not mean everyone else is was not a scholar uh, there was many fixed scholars but among the many fixed scholars during that time after the sahaba tabi'in taba tabi'in many scholars appeared but among all the fiqh mu'amalat scholars the four scholars become the most popular was imam abu hanifa he was his real name was numan ibn thabit maybe many people doesn't even many muslim doesn't even know that his real name was numan ibn thabit and uh, he was called imam abu hanifa due to be because his name was based on his daughter was solving some problem but anyhow there was imam abu hanifa ramtullahi there was imam shafi ramtullahi there was imam malik ramtullahi imam ibn hanbal ramtullahi but other than these four there was many but these four become like most popular in their societies in their societies four ulamas has a students each student let's say each is alim of each scholar fiqh uh, scholars they have some students one student he went to africa the another scholar student went to in arab country and the fourth scholar uh his student went to into the different part of the part of the world so where this students has been reached based based on those students where they have reached those part of the society the population of that society is they become all followers of the students of that scholar and that mazhab was being established in that particular place now the question was why in dunia is the most hanfi scholars um hanfi population now the scholar b he has a student he when his students went to in the part of subcontinent his students and his students they went into the part of the continent continent and the major population in the sub in the subcontinent was that time was india pakistan bangladesh was all together one as under the british and they part they made the partition later on so many students and their students and their students they went into the india and they established their education now this point to be noted as a technically speaking the scholar a he went to the place where there was a population of 500 people scholar b his students and his students traveling around the world spreading the word of allah and spreading of that mother of a scholar b his student 
reached a place where there was a 5,000 population. One of the scholars, his students, and his students went to the place where there's 500 population in the part of the world, and that must was was being established there. There's another group. There was another scholar who's a scholar number B. His students and his students, his was traveling around the world, and they reached in India. They reached in India, and that particular mother was being established in that area. Now the scholar three. Scholar three, his students and his students went to some different part of the world. That mazhab was being established. And they have, let's say, 700 or 200, let's say 200 people only in the population where the students and students have been reached. So they established the scholar third, their mazhab being established. Now the f scholar number four, his students and his students and his students traveled around the world and reached the part of the world where there's only a hundred people and his mother was being established. So by technically speaking, the Hanfi mother become the largest mother in the world because in dunya, the, the most populated people of Islam is in India, Pakistan. These are the two countries in the world where the Hanfi mazhab is the most in India and Pakistan. That's, and because of this mazhab was being established there, because their students of Abu Imam, Abu Hanifa, and their students, their students, they start traveling around the world, they reach the India, and then during India become the largest population place on the subcontinent. Because of the population, is technically become the largest because of the population of that place. So due to the population of the subcontinent, since India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, they were all together during the time of the British, and they did the partition later on to be as independent, and they removed the British from that particular uh, part of a subcontinent and there was uh, came India, Pakistan and Bangladesh was being divided and including these three countries there was also a Sri Lanka and also some countries in Arab some countries are there but because of this was the part of the world Asia and subcontinent was the largest population of a Muslims so by naturally and technically speaking, it has become a largest because by naturally it was the largest population as compared to the the students of other ulamas went to the other parts of the world and I give the example the part of the uh, the scholar A his students went to the part of the country where there was a hundred students uh, the hundred people population so the hundred people are following that much up there's the least um, least population there's another scholar number two. His population, his students and his students went to the part of the world where there was a different population. The size of the population was different. So they established that mazhab was being followed automatically and no other mazhab was being there. So the scholar and Basi, his students and his students reached another part of the world. There was a different part of, of um, uh, uh, population and they have a different number of population. So they established their mazhab there. So there's another scholar, his population, his students and his students reached to the part of the world where they have the huge, the the major population of Muslims into that part of the world, the major population was there. So by by naturally, by technically, uh, Hanfi become the most biggest populated a mazhab and was being established and started in India and went to the Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and many parts of the world. So it was not something, uh, it was something great or the special, but it was because by naturally, the students of Imam Abu Hanifa and their students and their students and their students reached the power of in India in uh, in India and that they established the Hanfi Mazhab. Where they established the Hanfi Mazhab, so naturally it, it went all over the subcontinent. So that's why it becomes the, the largest followers of uh, Imam Abu Hanifa.